Hello everybody, today we're going to be sampling, testing the AI eye contact in Descript. I don't have a script, but I'm going to look down. So we're gonna do it together, but I think that there's no better test than a legitimate test. So let's jump on in to do the actual, I mean, we're just sampling so I can do up to 10 minutes. If I love it, then I'll go right up to this guy because my videos tend to go, I don't know, 20 minute mark. So this will be great. As you can see, I have only tested Descript. I haven't done a whole lot with it. I'm not gonna go into Descript, but basically it's an editor that lets you edit based off of the words that you're saying. So it transcribes everything. And then you can click on exactly what those words are and where and let's say I wanted to delete this part, I could just delete it and then it would um, play back without that word. It would just cut it basically. So it's like cutting your videos, but without having to actually cut on like a timeline. So that's kind of how that works. But we're just gonna do this AI contact, eye contact thingy. So we'll go AI eye contact test, choose a file. One of the things I just realized was that I didn't have eye contact um, on this yet because this hadn't been updated. So you can see now it says a new version of Descript is ready. I had stopped recording, but what I did was went to help, check for updates, and then it just automatically started downloading the new one. And so what I'm gonna do now is just restart. See, I had to do a little Google. <laughs> so I'm restarting that and then it should have it. Okay, so all we need to do is make sure we select the video clip that we want this effect to go to. We're going to go over to effects on the right and the little plus button, eye contact, and it will render. And we will see how this works. The big test is I've clicked over to where I say that I am now looking down. And so we will see here, I'm gonna select the clip. You see eye contact is turned on. So if I play, it looks like, let's turn this off. And I am in fact looking down through all of this, these clips. But if eye contact is turned on, it's putting me back here directly. So as I'm talking to you um, right now, I am looking down and I'm gonna show you the side by side because I believe I can do that. And if not, I will edit it so that I can. But right now I am looking down. So yeah, this whole area, I am looking down. And then looking up. Um, okay, so the side by side, let's see if that works. And I will move my eyes a little bit so that it looks like I am actually reading so we can see how it does with eye movement. And that's it, that's what we'll test, okay. Okay, so the side-by-side -side doesn't look like it's quite as accurate. It looks still like I am looking to the side, which is fine. Uh, this just tells me that I should probably do this if I am looking down, not to the side. So see that my eyes are still moving. I actually like that because it means that it's not going to overcorrect and I don't want something to overcorrect. I know that there are um, apps out there that do overcorrect and it's like your eyes are glued to the screen, uh, which is just a little bit weird and I don't want that. I think overall it's, it's great for if you need to read below. Cool, easy peasy test. I hope that that is helpful.